Live Trained. What's going on guys? Thomas Gilman here with Live Train. Gonna go over some underhook basics, beginnings. We went over this in another video series in Intermediate, but we're gonna just review, kind of rehash some of these things at the beginning of this advanced series. First things first, just a couple ways to get to my underhook. Um, there's three main ways I like to get to it. The first one I'm gonna show is my favorite way. Just club the guy upside the head and jam an underhook. So I'm here. One thing to emphasize, I don't wanna be swinging from left field. A couple reasons, one, it kinda looks bad. Um, ref could get on your case, maybe it's illegal. Um, second thing, if I'm swinging from left field, I'm kinda leaving myself open to a shot or I gotta duck underneath my arms here. So when I'm clubbing this guy, I'm coming from the bottom to the top, from the inside up here, clubbing, jamming my underhook in the opposite side. So my back hand coming from the bottom up, clubbing on the side of the head. His natural instinct is to bring this elbow out, to flare out. So when I get clubbed in the head, I kind of do this, kind of flinch a little bit, and I present that opening to my opponent there. So boom, clubbing. He presents that opening, that little gap, I'm gonna jam my underhook right in that gap right there. So again, not swinging from left field, keeping everything nice and tight from the bottom to the top, clubbing my opponent, his elbow's flaring out, jamming my underhook. That's the first way, that's probably the most effective way that I get to my underhook. A couple other ways that I find myself getting to it is either from, an, in, from a um, collar tie where I have the collar tie or my opponent has a collar tie on me. So they're pretty similar, but a little, little different. So if my opponent has a collar tie on me, I'm gonna emphasize a lot on the shoulder dipping down. So if he's got a collar tie on me, I gotta beat this elbow here. So this shoulder has to beat this elbow to get inside to jam that underhook. So again, he's got a collar tie on me, we're wrestling here. He, maybe he's being a little lazy here, this elbow's a little bit flared out. I'm gonna dip my elbow or my shoulder inside to beat that elbow. Dipping my shoulder, jamming my underhook. One more time, we're wrestling here, he's got a collar tie, maybe he's being a little bit lazy, his elbow's a little bit flared out. I'm dipping my shoulder, jamming my underhook. Third way that I like to get to my underhook is from my collar tie. So we're wrestling here and I got a collar tie and he's being lazy coming over top, over, over tie there. From here, I'm just simply dropping my hand, jamming underhook there. So we're wrestling here, I got my collar tie on this side. He's over top, I'm dropping my hand, jamming underhook. Wrestling, I got a collar tie, he's over top, dropping hand, jamming underhook. So those are the three basic ways, just to review getting our underhook. Another thing to, um, that I wanna talk about in review is his head position or my head position, however you wanna look at it. So I like this position here where he has head position and my head's out. A couple reasons for this, I feel like if I have head position here, I'm too jammed up, I'm too close to this guy. So kind of a weird dichotomy in the sport of wrestling is we wanna be close but not too close. So I wanna be close enough so I can hit my shots and I'm not extended and getting all um, stretched out here, but I don't wanna to be too close because then I get kind of jammed up the opposite way. So we wanna find that sweet spot between having too much space and not enough space. And I just feel like if I got my head in here, I don't have enough space to really start getting to my attacks. That's just me personally. Um, I'm not saying that this is right, but this is how I do it and this is, this is right. Jamming underhook, he's got head position, my head's on the far side, right here. Another thing of emphasis on this underhook, I'm not making a fist, I'm not super tight here with my hand. I wanna be pretty relaxed and loose with this hand and I'm kinda gripping his shoulder, right on his shoulder blade, his scapula, I guess if you're, you're smart you call it that, your scapula, grabbing your fingers and kind of gripping it like this. To emphasize this, I kind of get in trouble a little bit sometimes in a match 
for grabbing a guy's singlet or what appears that I'm grabbing his singlet because I'm gripping so hard on his shoulder here and I'm pulling his singlet. So technically I'm actually probably grabbing his singlet but not intentionally. Just the way I'm gripping his shoulder and positioning my hand on his underhook, it, it gives the appearance that I'm grabbing his singlet. So that's just a, a, a visual of how I'm locking myself in here. And I kind of think of it as a lever. So my hand is gonna kind of grip and use my hand as a lever to be able to get my elbow up to a good position here, boom, here. Another thing of emphasis is I'm using my hips and my core, when I say core, I mean from here to here. This is core in wrestling. And we're not, I don't think of core as like beats muscles, abs, like yeah, that's part of core, but I don't care how good your abs look. I care about how strong your core is, your back, your torso, your legs, your glutes, that's all core. So when I'm using, when I'm getting this guy to move, I'm not moving him in this underhook with my arms. My arms are very weak compared to my core, I'm compared to my body, my legs. So I don't wanna be doing this with my arms necessarily. I'm doing a little bit of it, like I said, with this lever, but for the most part, I'm turning this guy with my hips here. You can see the orientation of my hips is turning, and that's what's turning his body. So if I got an opponent, he's really strong here, he's really winging down on this underhook, and I'm trying to jack him up, trying to get my elbow up like this, it's not gonna work. I gotta turn him with my body to get that elbow up. Another thing you'll notice is everything's kind of locked in here. My elbow's kind of tight to my side, which is connected to my lat, which is connected to my core, which is connected to my legs, my hips, and I'm doing, using that to turn his body. So I'm not doing this, just gotta emphasize this, I'm doing this. Everything's tight. If you could feel my back, it's all tight. I'm not like squeezing, not flexed, but it's tight and engaged. Here, got my lever, fingers gripping on the scapula there, elbow tight, turning him with my body, right here. One more thing before we end this video is my footwork when I'm in on this underhook. So I'm getting my underhook, everything's good. I wanna have, if I have a single underhook like this, I want my um, lead leg to match the underhook that, that I have. So just like this, if I'm on the other side, I wanna match my lead leg with the underhook that I have. And as I'm pressuring, pushing, pulling, pulling this guy around, looking for an opportunity to, to take a shot or get him underneath me, I'm keeping this strong stagger stance the whole time. I don't wanna get in a situation where I'm walking forward like this, because every time I take a step, it relieves a little bit of pressure. So I wanna keep the pressure on this guy, constant pressure the whole entire time. So I'm here, I'm staying staggered. The pressure is coming off this back foot. This is my power foot right here. This front foot is actually pretty light, pretty light. So I'm pushing off this back foot, taking a little bit of ground at a time. I don't have to take a lot of ground, just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit every, every time. So I'm here, stay and stagger. Another thing is I wanna have my center of gravity low so I can push. It's gonna be hard to push this guy from way up here, straight knees, standing up. When I get this underhook, I wanna be down. I wanna bear down on this guy right here. Nice, squatted, athletic stance. Power's coming from this back leg, pushing, push, push. Those are just a couple reviewing points on an underhook.